Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So you're in my bathroom today, it's going to be a little bit of a different video. I have recorded the first time I used this, um, I haven't got it on. It, it kind of got lost in the midst of all the videos that I did, so I've kind of scrapped that now. So I have tried and tested this already, as you can see I have got red roots. So this is the second time that I'm doing my rootage. Now, as you know, I have got natural brown hair. Well, probably you don't know. I've got natural brown hair, dark brown hair. I've had my hair dyed black for maybe 28 years. A very, very long time. Um, and in that time, obviously, I've had my hair bleached all, the, all types of colours. Um, <coughs> one, I have had my hair bleached, bleached red before. I'm trying to avoid bleach at the minute because I am going to be having red streaks through my hair which will be through through bleach um so i i want to avoid black so before i start this i will show you what black i have used in my hair in the past as you know i have used like revlon i've used the live i've used lots garnier so this is what i use last uh it's quite a good product actually this was the super drug color radiance this is what i used last month when i did my hair both black and red not realising realize that I didn't need to do the black, to be honest with you, because it's black at the end. It's only the rootage that I've ever had to go over with the black. Um, but it came with the, the nozzle where you could brush it through. So it, this is ideal for rootage, guys, if you do wonder. And it, it, it does what it says. It was quite good. Now, I have kept that just in case I get fed up of the red rootage and I go back to black. I am still going to be having the red um, streaks put through eventually i'm I'm waiting to near the competition to have that done with my hair so i don't have to keep having it redone because it's an expensive kind of thing to be having done so this was two for ten pound obviously my husband's grabbed me two this time and one probably for next month just in case i can't get out now the contents of the box is as follows so you get your um your bleach as you your developing cream that's what you do to put on your roots as you already know most of you should know obviously i get a conditioner i used this last time really really good guys to be honest with you i can't say anything bad about that i did like it although i did use a hair mask the banana hair mask on top then you've got your is this your peroxide your coloring gel yeah so you get that and that you get a pair of black gloves if you have not done this before, I would recommend you doing a, a patch test, drown test first. I do have a tail end comb as well because I'm only doing my rootage, I'm not doing my hair. As you can see, this is my natural wave. Now I've got natural curly hair, but I've had my hair in plaits. When I have my wigs on, I plait all my hair like little plaits and it does come out quite frizzy. So this is not my natural hair, but it's just because it's had plaits in. And I've got quite a lot of hair. As you can see, I've got very, very, very lion mane thick hair people don't see that when i have it straightened it looks a lot thinner than it is but my hair my hairdressers always said to me you've got lots and lots of hair it takes ages when they're doing my hair the whoever does my hair for the streaks are gonna hate it so this is the conditioner that i got in the um super drug one so this is super drugs on guys by the way and this one is the l'oreal so you do get a black pair of um, gloves, which you do need gloves, guys. And another little tip is Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. What I do, guys, is I I do all my hair line. I'll do my ears, I'll do around my neck, and I'll cover it in Vaseline as a barrier so my skin doesn't get dyed red. Um, I will put layers, I'll let it dry, and I'll put another layer on. I show my hair out afterwards, guys. Usually I have a bath, but my back's not been very, very good lately. So a bath is usually good for the bath, but I'm struggling to get in and out. So I'm just gonna sit here on the inside and let Ben just wash my, my hair out. And then I will jump in the shower or I'll just jump in the shower and just do it myself either way. And he'll help me get out. So it is important to put a barrier around your skin because this kind of color will like dye your head. And, um, your hands and so forth. Um, I do normally take my rings off when I'm doing this, but my fingers are swollen up, guys, and I'm struggling to kind of get my rings off my fingers again. Um, I've had a bit of a 
reaction. So I'm going to go off camera now. I will show you that I'm using the, I've tried the banana hair food. It's really, really good. Um, I won't say it's spectacular. It was good for what it was. Um, I do prefer the Palmer's hair masks, like the ones that you can leave in for quite a while. Um, and I do love the Matrix shampoo and conditioner. I haven't managed to buy that again, but I will. Um, but I'm going to try the coconut three in one hair mask today. It's for normal hair, but I've actually got dry hair. Now, Ben bought this, so him and Zach could use it as well. Um, the banana one I do still have, guys, which is here. So I do still have both, and I do still have the shampoo and conditioner in the banana food. My husband didn't realise you could buy the shampoo and conditioner in this, but I'm going to be using this conditioner today which is the Aussie conditioner, which is the mega. I absolutely rate this. My friend, God bless her, she's not here anymore, but um, she had beautiful, beautiful, long, long black curly hair. And um, she used to use this religiously on her shampoo and conditioner and her masks. And she really did big it up and said, this is the best she's ever, ever used in her whole entire life. So when she lost her hair and stuff, she gave me a lot of her conditioners and stuff and um i loved it every now and again i will dive into this so i'm going to be using that on a conditioner i know it comes with the l'oreal conditioner guys i tend to save that for the next um wash because i only wash my hair once to twice once to twice a week sorry that's that <laughs> but i will do a deep conditioning treatment after i do it so i will use the aussie um i will use the mask first then i'll take it off and use the aussie I will save the L'Oreal for the second time I wash my hair and I'll use a hair mask again. Okay guys, so basically you mix this into this. It's got a little screw top, so you can unscrew that. I hate the smell of this stuff. It's, it, I don't know, it reminds me of like real strong ammonia. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, um, one of the neighbors used to have about 25 cats and that's what it reminds me of and I always used to say god it reminds me of the neighbours that we used to have when I was growing up now I throw all my empties into the box and I dispose of the box outside just because of the nature of it and I didn't want Zach to get his hands on it give it a good shake guys until it's developed and then obviously I will leave it stand for a minute put my Vaseline on and then I will stand up and do it at the mirror. So guys, and I've put the Vaseline around my head, my ears, my neck. Got my mirror so I can see, but sitting and bending in this position doesn't really help my back. So as you can see, it goes really nice red. It is really, really nice this. I did say on my last application that I like the color. The gloves are very tight, guys. I will say it that much, but they're like bin bag gloves, not like the see-through clear ones that we normally get, but they're very, very tight. I normally take my thumb ring off, to be honest, because it does rip the gloves. Oh God, it's on the floor. I'm not going to bend down for that. Bending down is what kills me the most. Okay, so normally take all my bands off as well, guys, but I haven't done that. But I'm not really a, a messy applicator. As you can see from my t-shirt, that was the last time I did my application. I am going to jump in the shower once my hair's gone. So now I will just find my centre parting. Now my roots have grown through um, dark brown, guys, instead of growing silver. When my hair's black, my roots grow through silver. And because the my roots were red, they've come through as being black. It just, just does my head in when it does that. But I'll just start it, guys, and then I'm going to go off camera and finish it because I can't sit here and, and do the whole procedure, the whole application. So basically, I'll just spray down the middle and then I'll just tap it in. And I will do root to root, guys. So I'll separate all my hair to get all my rootage. And then whatever's left, I will go over again around the front of my scalp and at the back of the nape of my neck, and around the ears and so forth, places where you forget. But I always make sure the middle is done. 
the moss out. That felt like it went to my eye there. All right, guys. Oh God, I didn't think about this. Back in a jiffy, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, finished. So it's taken me the best part of, let's say I've had my tea in between, so can't include that. It's took me about two hours in total, guys. I left it on for 40 minutes. Then it was like 20 minutes washing it out. Once I washed it out, I towel dried it. Then I added this Tresemme 230 degree heat protection because my straighteners go to 230, it's 250 degrees. And then once I blow dried it, blew, <laughs> blew, once I blow dried it, guys, I used my SHE um, hair dryer, which is absolutely amazing. It kind of pulls all the kinks out of your hair, all the curls and so forth. Um, and it's like anti-frizz. So once I'd finished doing my hair with that, I did go ahead and put my liquid gold tresemme all the way through my hair, left it for 10 minutes to settle while I had my tea, come back and then obviously I SHD my hair straighteners which are absolutely amazing. Probably the best hair straighteners I've ever owned in my entire life. God's honest truth. And then I just finished off the little bit of hair serum just to give it that. But as you can see, the roots have took even where it was dark. I didn't think it would, but it did. Um, let me just run my fingers through. Can you see? It is such a nice vibrant red. I like really, really vibrant. And it's took my roots beautifully. Now, obviously, as you can see, this is how long I left my roots through the lockdown. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to do this because as soon as I start getting greys, I tend to, st I, I literally get the black on top. But if you look on this side as well, can you just see how fluffy and good nourished it is? My, I've had damaged hair since bleaching my hair a couple of years, three years ago, I had a real bad disaster with bleach. And I, I sworn after that I would never put bleach in my hair. And I haven't put bleach in my hair. So this is just a box dye, as you've seen. Um, just by leaving my, my roots for five months has persevered me having to do this. And now, obviously, I can keep doing this, um, which, you know, till I get bored. But I am having some red streaks put through my hair. Obviously, the red might be slightly different to the rooted. So what I might ask is when they do my whole hair like my my streaks if they can do my rootage at the same time so it's all the same red um i don't know if i'll manage to keep it it's a very expensive thing expensive hobby but i will keep the rootage so that's that guys that is that l'oreal costa rica i think that was absolutely amazing it was five pound a box you can get it from super jug as the morrison's anywhere like that boots um obviously i've got a box for next month my husband will probably just do that and just order me two at a time, especially if the deal's on, two, pound, two for £10. Pound. Um, I don't tend to dye the ends of my hair, guys, because this is what damages it the most. When I do a conditioning treatment, I concentrate on the ends of my hair. Now, I've not had my hair cut, believe it or not, for nearly two and a half years. So, yeah, it is tatty and it is starting to get bitty at the ends, but it is still in really good condition. I don't want to cut it until it's got a certain length because obviously when they take at least two inches off, it shortens your hair and I'm trying to grow it as long as I possibly can. But if this lady can do my rootage, I will ask her just to, just to trim the ends, just to trim the ends and possibly put a few layers back in my hair and my fringe back in it because as you can see, it's growing out again. I don't want to touch it this time. I did it myself through the lockdown. So there you go, guys. Um, I have put my night cream on. Um, I broke out in a few spots recently. Um, I don't know why. It might be down to tiredness and stress, not what I'm using, because as, as you know, I am using the Elemis and I don't have any issues with Elemis. But there you go, guys. That is my hair done. Tell me what you think. Have you tried this one before? I'm not too sure how long this one's been. I think there's two different shades of reds in this Costa Rica one. Um, but I will definitely use it again without a doubt. Uh, if I could really persevere and let it grow longer, I could have even had like half red here. I have had my hair red before, guys. I have my hair half underneath was all red and at the top was black. Um, I've had my fringe red before, my hair black. I've always kind of dipped into the red rather than the, the purple. The purple was a lesson. 
I wouldn't use that one again. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you um, want any more information on that box there, let me know. I will pop it in the description box. Um, Obviously, I haven't done a strand test, but I have used that before, so I knew it worked all right. Um, Vaseline is definitely the best idea in the world. I just wiped the Vaseline off my skin, back of my ears and back of my neck, and it all came off super, super easy. The only reason my ears are red at the minute is because I am hot, like really warm. Um, but I would use Vaseline before you put any colour onto your scalps and back of your neck and so forth. All right, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.